Welcome to my homestead kitchen. I'm Allison, and today let's talk all about how you can identify a food safe bucket for your short term layer or for using in your long term layer in your prepper pantry. I'm going to show you some of the different types of symbols that you can look for to identify food safe containers. And then we're also going to answer some of the frequently asked questions that I get about using food safe buckets. The first thing that you are gonna wanna do when you are trying to identify whether a bucket is food safe is you're gonna wanna flip it over and look at the bottom. So in this case, I have a, I think this is a three gallon bucket here and I have kosher salt in it. And I'm gonna flip it over and this one has a two on it. So all the buckets are going to have certain symbols on the bottom of them, or if it's brand new, it might have a label that has some symbols on it. And the ones that you are going to want to look for, and it's within that little triangle that's the recycling symbol and identifying plastics that are considered food safe, you're going to look for either this symbol with a one in it a symbol with a two in it, a symbol with a four in it, or a symbol with a five in it. There are a few others, but these are the most common ones that you're gonna find when you are looking at packaging. Another symbol that you might notice on packaging is um, a spoon and a fork. And that symbol, if it's on the label, or if you are you know, at Home Depot or at a store, if it has a spoon and a fork on the shelf or on the signage for this product, that's also a symbol that recognizes a food safe material. Symbol that is a number one, you are typically going to see that in things like water bottles. You are going to see it on maybe pop or soda bottles. Um, and while this packaging is considered food safe, it is not meant for reuse. So one way that you can reuse these containers is for dry storage. So you wouldn't want to reuse it by putting something liquid in it, but these containers work great once you've sanitized and cleaned them out to put dry goods in like wheat berries or popcorn or oats, something like that. So this is one type of plastic and it's the number one and it's P-E-T-E -E are the letters that you will see near that. A second type of plastic, and this one we see a lot, is number two and that's H-D-P-E. You're gonna see this on things like milk jugs, buckets. Um, as an example, this bottle of maple syrup has a two on it. This type of plastic is a harder plastic and is great for long-term storage. Another symbol that you are going to see is the four, and that will usually have the letters LDPE. And I believe, I actually am not sure if I have any number fours. Nope, I do not. But it would have a number four within that little triangle recycling symbol. And that is more of a lightweight plastic. So, um, lightweight meaning it can crush easier so you do want to be mindful of like if you are if you find a bucket with that um, designation on it is it sturdy enough to support you know the weight of other buckets if you're stacking the other one is number five and that will have the letters pp on it and i'm going to go ahead and show you that so here is a number five with PP packaging with the number five on it is great for things that something hot is going into cups that have a liner on them or single serve containers like yogurts, things like that. Um, those will often have a five. So this bucket had a five. I believe this one is a, this one is a two. So this is a reused bucket. You can see this is an ice cream bucket. And yes, they sell ice cream in this big of buckets, which I will say is not a good thing because then you eat all the ice cream. And this one I believe was a number two. Yes, so this one's a number two. 
So those are some ways that you can identify food safe buckets. Look for the one, the two, the four, the five, or the cup and the fork symbol. So one of the questions I get asked a lot about buckets is what type of lid do I need? And that is completely personal preference. If you like these Gamma style lids where you have this piece that attaches onto the bucket and then this piece that comes on and off, it's really easy and convenient, get Gamma Seal lids. Gamma Seal lids are more expensive. There are also like this bucket came with a lid and then there are lids that you can buy that you can mallet on and then they come on and off. Usually you can use like a lid lifter with them because those are a little more difficult to get off. But really the lid that you use on your bucket is personal preference. I prefer the Gamma Seal lids because I am in and out of my food storage. Sometimes buckets are rotating from my long-term pantry to my short-term pantry. And I just like having the convenience of these Gamma Seal lids. It is important to note that once these Gamma Seal lids are on, they're on. I have not been able to figure out a way once I have this piece on the bucket. You can see this is a piece that was just malleted onto the bucket. I have not figured out a way to get these off without bending it or compromising it or just completely breaking it. So if you have figured out a way, I would love to hear in the comments. Please share with me if you have been able to get these Gamma Seal lids off your buckets. So that is an important thing to note because these do have cracks and crevices. So if you're gonna be washing your buckets between uses, you're gonna to need to make sure that it is completely dry underneath this Gamma Seal lid. Like I said, lids are personal preference. Another really important thing to note about buckets is buckets are plastic and plastic is porous. So what that means is whatever was stored in this bucket, the plastic may have absorbed. So you never want to use a bucket, even if it's a food safe bucket, that stored an item that was not food because whatever was in that item can be in the plastic of the bucket. So only use food safe buckets that have contained food or have never contained anything and you only store food in them. Another important thing to know about buckets is because plastic is porous, over time, air and moisture do come through the bucket. So we may look at these and think, oh, these are completely airtight and watertight. And that is not the case. Because of that, if you live in a humid environment, if you are storing your food where um, it may be exposed to moisture in the air or in the environment, you really need to use a liner in your buckets. And by liner, I mean a Mylar bag. That is the best and top choice for lining buckets and storing food for long-term storage. In Creepy Basement, and if you are new here, Creepy Basement is, we live in a 1927 farmhouse and Creepy Basement is where we keep some of our food storage and it's creepy down there. Creepy Basement has really high humidity. So one issue I had when we moved into this house was in my short-term layer, I like to just pour the food directly in the bucket because I know that I am opening that bucket on a regular basis. I am refilling my kitchen canisters and I don't want to have to keep resealing or opening mylar. So when we moved in, all of the sugar that I had straight in big buckets because I like to buy it in bulk and just pour it straight in the bucket started absorb absorbing moisture through the bucket. So while that sugar is not bad, it is clumpy now. Knowing that I struggle with high humidity, I now do not put anything into creepy basement that isn't in my lar. If I had an area of my house where I knew that wasn't going to be an issue, my short-term layer buckets would still continue to just have the food poured straight into them. So that is an important thing to know about 
about the storage space that you are keeping buckets in. That brings us to the other, one of the other questions that I get asked a lot. Do I have to use a liner? Do I have to line my buckets with mylar bags? And the answer is no, you do not have to, but you do need to know, is the bucket food safe? Because you don't ever want to pour food into a bucket that wasn't food safe. Did the bucket ever contain anything that wasn't food? Because again, you would not want to use that bucket. And three, what are the storage conditions like where I am storing this food? Because if you struggle with high humidity or anything like that, um, it is going to come through the bucket over time and get into your food and compromise that in some way. For long-term storage, I absolutely recommend using Mylar for your food storage. It is the best way to protect the food that you are putting into buckets and storing. Another question that I get asked a lot is what about colored buckets? Colored buckets can be food safe, but you do need to make sure that the dye that was used is food safe itself. So just because a bucket has one of the symbols on the bottom that says it's a food safe bucket, if it's a colored bucket, it doesn't necessarily mean it is safe for food. If that bucket had one of those symbols, remember a one, two, four, or a five on the bottom, and it also has that spoon and fork, you know it's food safe no matter what color the bucket is. But other colored buckets, you do need to dig a little deeper, maybe contact the manufacturer and find out, is the dye that was used in this bucket safe for food storage? Our food storage is an investment of our time, our energy, our budget, our finances. It is really important that we protect that in whatever ways we can, that we are knowledgeable about how we are storing, storing our food, what we are storing our food in, so that we are not wasting food in the long run of your prepper pantry. I hope that was helpful to you in identifying food safe buckets for your prepper pantry.